This is what you can expect when you walk into these car guys. What did I just click on? I wasn't expecting all that. So my name is David Sweeney. I am the co-founder of Used Car Guys with my brother James Sweeney. Uh, and I am the owner of the company and we are the Used Car Guys. Welcome to Used Car Guys, come on in. We buy and sell American cars to the American community overseas. Is it just used cars or do you have new cars as well? Just used cars. But uh, we kind of specify on kind of late models, so something between one to five years old with low to average miles. There's four brothers in total, uh, and three of them in Germany, one in New Zealand. So it all started, so I used to work for the company that everybody knows, MAS, on and off base. Back in the day, it was 2000, 2001, there used to be a base in Mannheim, an army base in Mannheim. And I ran the store for them back in Mannheim for 11 years. But around about 2010, 2011, word got out when they had that big drawdown of troops that the base was closing. And so me and my brother James, who I was working with at the time, we wanted to stay and do the same thing, but we didn't want to move further afield from where we were, because we both lived in Mannheim at the time. So we decided we're going to go and do our own thing. We're going to go and sell used cars because we saw that there was a market for used cars because everybody was buying new cars back then. Okay. Um, but if we were going to go somewhere and it wasn't going to close down, where would that be? And Ramstein, K-Town is the biggest community around. So that's where we've done. So we opened up our first location outside Ramstein Air Base in 2012. My family are from the west coast of Ireland. I was raised in Cambridge, which is in, in near London, right? Near Lake and Heath Air Base, only 45 minutes from Lake and Heath. But I moved to Germany, wow, 23 years ago. So I came to Germany when I was a young 23 years old. Yeah, so I've been here for nearly half my life now. Okay, and sprichst du Deutsch? Ja, yeah, natürlich. Ah. Oh. It's, it's hard to learn, yeah, right? Yeah. Especially when you live in this English-speaking American bubble, right? Sure. Well, especially Ramstein. Yeah. It is the biggest American bubble. You Absolutely. Can but the good thing is, is that if you're only here for a few years, obviously you want to learn the natural bits or the, or the, the important bits, like two beers or taxi to a restaurant or yeah. can I order a pizza, yeah. right? But you can get by with minimal German, right? There are people I know who've been here for 20 years that don't speak any German, yeah, so. which is crazy, but it happens. Okay, so the first one was a little hut outside Ramstein Air Base. If you come out of the base, there's a little traffic circle. On the right-hand side, we had a little cabin there, right? It literally was a cabin. There was no running water, there was no electric. We ran everything off a generator. We had a port loo you know, one of those building site loos, and we had seven cars. And me and my brother James were quite loud. So we had this six meter by six meter cabin, right? And, and we, we were like on the phone and stuff. Anyway, so there was a dealer that was there for 20 years. And when we moved in and took over from him, the city sent a letter You've saying, get out. So we had, to go, we had to go and find a new place. And our rent there was 450 euros a month, right? So we were like, it was nothing. So we had to go, we had six months to find a new place. And then we were driving through on Siedlerhof, Kaiserslautern line Siedlerhof, which is just down the road from Ramstein. And there was a showroom that was empty and Volvo military sales used to be in there and it said to rent. And we were like, well, we were going from this shack, we called it the shack, to a showroom. And no, no used car dealers had showrooms back then. They were all like lots or whatever. Either new cars or used cars. There was nothing premium in the middle. So anyway, we took a big leap of faith. It was four or five times the amount of rent that we were paying. And we had a deal with the landlord that if it worked, if it, he gave us a three year contract, but if it didn't work after a year, we could get out, right? And so we went from the shack to Kaiserslautern in Siedlerhof where we had this showroom. And it was like, it was a new car showroom with used cars. And it was the first time anyone had done that. Uh, and, and obviously it worked. So that was 2012. And then in 2015, we opened in Ramstein where we're sitting right now. And then after that, we opened our workshop, which is across the street. We have our own workshop with our own uh, bilingual mechanics and master mechanic. So we do all of our own reconditioning and warranty work. Yeah. Uh, we opened in Spangdalem in 2017, and we opened in Stuttgart in 2020. And last month, so in this month, August 2023, we opened in Aviano, Italy. So back in the day when we worked at the old place, right? Um, when we were new car dealers, right? So we, and this was when you used to, when everyone used to phone each other rather than email and, 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 and WhatsApp, right? So you'd call up, you call up the home and say, hey, can I speak to Sergeant Jones, please? And they'd say, honey, it's the new car guy on the phone, right? So we used to get that all the time. So the first thing, right? I was actually driving, when we were making up, trying to figure out where we were going to get the name from, uh, that was the first one that came to head. I was driving from Germany to England one Christmas and we were all talking about what we we're gonna do. And we said, right, we always used to get called the new car guys when we were selling new cars. So let's just take it and run with it. And I know used car dealers in America don't have the best reputation, right? So we are 
always striving for perfection, always striving to make sure that when people come in they get a good, good experience. If you're a newcomer and you're coming into the Ramstein Kaiserslautern area, you'll probably, or you will go to the new arrivals, uh, or the newcomers meeting, I think they call it, the newcomers briefing. And we're there every Wednesday. So we have a booth there, and so we have flyers, and we have information, and we can tell you any questions that you have, not just about buying a car from us, but also about living in Europe, traveling in Europe, how you might register a car, how you might go and get your car inspected, and all that kind of stuff. So we have someone there every Wednesday. One of the things you'll see if you ever visit our website, usedcarguys.net, is that there's a section called Explore Europe. It's not all about cars. We have uh, podcasts, video blogs and written blogs about places that you can go and visit in Europe. So we're big, we're big on that, right? So it's not like just go to our website to buy a car, you know? It's one of the perks of being in Europe is that you, in a few hours you can be in, I think nine or 10 different countries we border, right? Nine countries Germany borders, but there's so many more than that as well yeah. that you can just drive to. I drive to Croatia every year. It's a 14 hour drive, but it's fantastic, right? But also, if you're in the area, you'll probably come across our website or you'll probably come across our Facebook page or Instagram or even TikTok. We're on all of the channels, yeah? And we also run a, um, a very active WhatsApp channel, which is man 24 seven. So even if you're in the States or you're in Korea or somewhere else, there's a big button on our website that says chat live. And if you hit that button, there's a good chance that you're going to get someone, even if it's three o'clock in the morning. You, you know, like if you go to some businesses and they'll have an out of office after six o'clock, you won't get that with us. We'll, we are there and we're online and we've got, it's all of our sales consultants are, are connected to it. So if one person's not available, the next person can pick it up. And that's almost 24 seven. So a lot of the time where they start is, is, is it US spec? Right, so for people that haven't made it to Germany yet, you have a US specification car that can be driven in America, or you have an EU specification car that can be driven in Germany, right? But if it's EU specification, it can't be put on a ship and taken back home. So if you're here for a three year tour and you take a five year loan on a car and you intend to keep it for that five years, you wanna make sure that you're buying a US spec car. And so there, obviously in Germany, there's, there's loads and loads of car dealers, but there's, there's a certain amount that only cater for the military community. We only cater for the military community. If a German person or a non-ID card holder walks into our showroom, they can't buy a vehicle from us. Yeah, I don't have an ID card, so I can't buy a vehicle from my own company. So that's one of the big questions. Is it US spec, is it EU spec? And of course we have EU spec cars as well, right? So do we have this guaranteed buyback offer that if you want to buy an EU spec car, maybe it's something that's not sold in the States, or maybe it's something that you just like. Um, we say, right, buy it. And we guarantee when you leave or when you sell it, that will give you a fair market offer, right? So it's almost like a lease. So they ask, is it US spec? Is it, um, is it EU spec? Does it come with a warranty? Yeah, because when you go overseas, the last thing you want to be doing is having a, an old car breaking down, going into a, a German workshop where the language barrier is at, or they don't take VAT forms, or they don't give you the customer service you provide. So all of our cars, if they're outside of the manufacturer's warranty, because we have a lot that still have a manufacturer's warranty, because we sell a lot of nearly new stuff. And if it's uh, out of manufacturer's warranty, we have a one year guarantee on it, a one year warranty on it, with an option of a two year warranty on some cars as well. Right? Okay. So do, do you offer a warranty? Yes, we do. Do you have a service center? Yes, we do. We're um, one of the only dealers around that have our own in-house service center. And that's across the road from where we sit now in Ramstein. Like I said earlier, we've got three mechanics and a Meister mechanic. A master mechanic in Germany is the highest level of mechanic you can get. And they, all they do is recondition our cars for sale and then uh, service cars and take care of any warranty issues. Okay, so in Germany, obviously under the SOFA agreement, any American or ID card holder in Germany is able to purchase vehicles from, a, from authorized places or places that will accept the VAT form. That means that there's 19% VAT on everything in Germany. If you provide a VAT form to go in to buy a sofa or a kitchen or a car, then you can have that 19% reduced off the price. It's a massive saving, right? 19% percent of the price is fantastic with our vehicles because we are an American authorized de or authorized dealership to sell American spec vehicles all of our cars are what's under a, a German word Zollager so a customs bonded zone so everything in here is tax-free and it can sit here tax-free because we've got this bond over it and so we can only buy cars from military or ID card holders and we can only sell to military ID card holders so that whole thing is, is tax-free so what that means is you don't need a VAT form to buy an American spec car from us you get uh, a specific form on, from customs on base called an AE 550, yeah? yeah? Um, but if there's a German car that we sell and it's um, 
an EU spec car, then you can use a VAT form for that as well. Okay. So all of our prices are without tax because we only sell to the military community. That is a question that gets asked a lot in the groups and to us. And if you live in downtown Stuttgart or you live in downtown Kaiserslautern, it, can't, it wouldn't be your only car, right? But if you have a secondary vehicle, then trucks are good, right? We have a truck sitting right there just off camera, right? We buy and we sell trucks. There is a market for trucks, but it's not a vehicle that you can go downtown Kaiserslautern to, to go shopping at the mall for, because you know that in, in Germany, they've got those parking garages with that little spiral that goes down. You're gonna, you're gonna bum up your rims, right? But if you have two cars and a truck's one of them and a smaller car is another one, and absolutely, if you like trucks, I love trucks, I think they're great. And we do sell some big trucks. So the good thing about all of our vehicles is that we guarantee our vehicles to pass military inspection, right? So that's part of the, the process. Um, with the warranty, it's a guarantee to pass inspection. So if you're coming from the States and you're, you're listening to this or watching this from the States and you've got a heavily modified vehicle, my advice would be for you to sell it in the States and buy something over here because the German regulations, which is what we call TÜV over here, is also uh, very similar to the on-base inspection. And some of the modifications, like if your tires are wider than your flares, you're gonna fail. Or if you've got different headlights, you're gonna fail or, and stuff like that. So heavily modified stuff or massive lift kits, you, that, that might fail. And when you get here, and if it's an older car, like an older Wrangler that's been modified and lifted and stuff, that could be problematic. We do have people that come here after just arriving that have shipped their vehicle saying, and you can see, because they've got their temp tags on, saying this has failed, and they show you the fail sheet, and they're like, I don't know how you're gonna get that through. Yeah. So if you've got a heavily modified vehicle and you're still stateside, you can sell it there. And the market's still really buoyant in the States right now. Prices are still up, so you can get a good price, right? And then you can shop online to our website, www.usecarguys.net, or the number of other dealers out there and find a similar vehicle. And I know we do, so I'm sure other people do as well. You can actually reserve and have it waiting for you when you, you arrive here. We have, a, we have a button on our website that's called Arrive and Drive. So you reserve the car, you get all the processes, you, you, you turn up, you come here, we can pick you up from base, we walk you through every single step of the process, which is the order form, getting the car financed, getting it paid out, getting your insurance, clearing customs, which is brand new if you've never been to Germany before, so that you don't pay the 19%, and then making an appointment for picking up the car, and picking up the car and going for it. We, we're there every single step of the way. Yeah, sure, absolutely, it makes sense, right? So you don't have to spend all of your time, like you're, when you're in processing and you're trying to find a house and you're trying to get a phone and you're trying to get kids in school and all that kind of stuff, you don't have to waste time car shopping or, wait or rely on a sponsor that has to drive you around and all that kind of stuff. Most of our inquiries start on our website. We keep our website very, very up to date. If a car gets reserved, it's shown. So there's none of this, is this available and all that kind of stuff. You'll see if it's available, you'll see if it's reserved, okay? Um, and then you've got that 24-7 chat from WhatsApp as well. I love it, I love it. So, been here for 23 years, yeah? Germany's home. I'm a big outdoors guy, right? So I like to run, I like to go in the mountains, uh, biking, all of that stuff. Germans love the outdoors, so if you're into that kind of stuff, it's fantastic. Also, what I found from being here for a few winters is that skiing's awesome as well, right? So, if sometimes the winters get a bit dull here, get a bit dark, get a bit bleak, but something to spice it up, Go skiing, you know, Garmisch, Edelweiss. That's a great place to start. And then as you get better, go into Austria. I'm in Austria every year, love it. I love living in Germany. Well, my skiing area, I go to Austria, right? So I've done all of it. St. Christoph, uh, Zell, St. Anton, Schladming is one of my favorites, Flachau, all of those places. I love it, I really love it. It's one of the things that gets you through the German winners, you know? Now, back in the day when I first got here, you'd get three feet of snow. That has not happened. I can't remember the last time it happened, yeah. right? Yeah. But it's one of those things that I look forward to now, yeah. right? It's one of the perks of living here. Like, I'm from, you know, raised in England, family from Ireland. You can't ski over there, yeah. right? You just have wet winners. Right. You got all the seasons. You got all the seasons. Sometimes in one day. Yeah, so <laughs> it's a great place to live. It's, yeah. It really is. Okay. This is home now, right? So I'm, I'm not going anywhere. Okay, so if, if you're already in Germany, we've got five or six locations around, yeah? So Ramstein, Kaiserslautern, Stuttgart, Spangdalem, and now Aviano, right? So if you're in any of those areas, come on down to our showrooms. We've got over 200 cars to choose from, EU spec and American spec, all with warranty. If you're still stateside or Korea or somewhere else, get on our website.
right? We've got all the cars on there. It's updated every day. We've got new cars daily in stock. You've got that WhatsApp channel for chat. So website, Explore Europe, the WhatsApp channel. Also, we're big on Facebook. We've got 10,000 followers on Facebook. We're always putting our videos. We're always putting our cars on there, plus some behind the scenes stuff and some, some funnies and all that stuff. So, and we're on TikTok too, or Instagram, if you follow those channels too. Okay, sweet man. Well, that's all I got. You got anything else that you want to add? Or, uh... It was really good to meet you, Daniel, and I'm looking forward to working with you, and thanks for this opportunity. Awesome.